Hi friends, I'm Parways and this is our first video in Python Selenium. So in this video we're going to have a simple introduction to Selenium and also we will learn that how you can install Selenium web driver in Python at the end we are going to create a simple example in Selenium. So first of all Selenium is a set of uh, tools for automating browsers and it's largely used for testing applications but it is usage are not limited only uh, to testing uh, it can also be used for screen scrapping and automating repetitive tasks in a browser window. So uh, Selenium supports automation on all browsers including Firefox, Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, Safari and also Opera. Now this is a documentation for uh, Selenium WebDriver in Python. Uh, you can see that Selenium Python bindings provide a simple API to write uh, functional or acceptance tests using Selenium WebDriver. Now, uh, through Selenium Python API, you can access all functionalities of Selenium WebDriver. So, it's a Python binding, and uh, the first thing is that you need to install that, and you can just use pip install Selenium, and it will be installed. So, after installation, in the second step, you need to download the drivers. You can see that Selenium requires a driver to interface with, this, with, uh, with the chosen browser. Now Firefox, uh, for example, if you're using Firefox, you can just download this driver. Or if you're, using, uh, if you're using Google Chrome, you can use another driver. Now this is the list of drivers uh, that uh, you can download. So we have for Chrome, Edge, Firefox, and also Safari. Uh, in this video, we will learn that how you can use Chrome and also Firefox and, and Selenium with Python. So the first thing is that uh, you need to download these drivers so you can just click on this link for the Chrome and on this link for the Firefox and uh, this is the Chrome page and you can see that these are the different versions for the Chrome you can just check your version of Chrome uh, from here and you can see that this is the version and uh, I have already downloaded this version so you can just download from here it is a uh, executable file and after that you need to just uh, download the Firefox so this is for Firefox and there are different versions so and you can use according to your operating system whatever you want you can just download and unzip the file now it's also an uh, .exe file so after downloading a Chrome driver and also Firefox driver uh, you need to copy these two drivers and you need to paste that in your Python where you have installed Python so you can see this is uh, Python 3.7 and this is my Python installation and you need to copy these two drivers so this is uh, Chrome driver .exe, and also this is uh, for Firefox and you can just paste these two uh, drivers where the where you have installed your Python now after this our setup is done and now we need to write our first code so the second way is that you need to just copy your drivers so for for example for chrome and also firefox and you can just copy the two drivers in your project folder so this is my project that i will work on uh, in pycharm id and i will create my files python files in here so you can just paste the two files in here so now this is my two files chrome driver.exe and this is for firefox driver and in here you can just create your uh, python files and you can uh, do your examples uh, now the first thing i need i'm going to just import uh, i'm using python 3.7 uh, but you can use 3.6 and there's no problem so we can just use from selenium we want to import a web driver and after that we need to just create just uh, create the object of web driver so we can just say web driver dot now in here you can choose uh, uh, the uh, for example if you're using Chrome you can just use Chrome and uh, now if I run this let me just uh, run this and now you will see that now you can see that this is my 
Chrome browser and it's opened. So you can see that uh, here is a uh, written that Chrome is being controlled by automated test software. Now you can choose Firefox for example and let me just run for the Firefox and you will see the Firefox in here. Uh, we will have Firefox browser. Now you can see that this is the Firefox browser. So now let's just open a website. So for example, uh, uh, in here we can just say driver.get and we can, uh, for example, I want to open my website. So geekscoders.com and if you want the source codes, you can just uh, get the source code from geekscoders.com now let me change this to chrome and now i want to run this so in the first step it will open the chrome browser and you can see that after that it will open the website for me and now i'm waiting so you can see that this is the website also you can join these free courses for pyqt5 javascript kv and also you can get all the source codes from here now you can add another uh, uh, website so let me just say driver.get and this time we want to open google.com so now you can see it will first open uh, now you can see that this is the google.com uh, also you can do uh, for example if you want to print uh, the title and the URL of the website you can do for example in here you can just say print uh, driver dot title so this is for the website title and print driver uh, dot current URL so this is for the title and this is for the URL now if I run this it will first open google.com and after that it will print the uh, title and also the URL of the page so this is the Google and in here you can see uh, that uh, I will receive uh, so now I am waiting okay now you can see that this is Google uh, this is the title and also this is the URL so now uh, let's just uh, also you can print the source uh, page source for the website so we can just say print driver dot page source and if I run this you will see the page source so now I'm waiting for the google.com and I should see the source code in here so you can see that this is the uh, source code now also you can uh, for example you can make the window full screen if you want uh, for this let me just comment these uh, for that uh, you can use a driver dot full screen window now uh, it will first open the uh, Chrome browser after that it will open the google.com and after completely opening of the google.com uh, it will become full screen so the window will become full screen now so let me run this and uh, you can see here uh, so this is the Google and now now you can see that the window is full screen uh, also you can maximize the window so right now it's a full screen window and we don't have any minimize or maximize options for the window uh, for that you can just say driver dot maximize window and you will see that I have a, a window with the maximize options. So you can see that this is the Google and now it will now you can see that we have maximize and minimize options. Uh, also you can set manually the width and height for the window so you can just say driver dot set 
uh, so we have uh, set window size uh, you can give the width and height so 300 and 300 or you can just say 400 and 400 and if I run this you'll see a 400 by 400 window Okay, now this is google.com and now after completely opening the google.com I should receive the 400 by 400 window so you can see. Uh, also you can uh, set the X and Y position so for that you need to use rect, window rect and in here we can just say driver dot set window rect and in here you need to give the X and Y position so X 200 and Y 200 uh, you can give the width and height so width is uh, 200 and also height is 200 and also you can close the window so let me just show you after uh, opening our google.com and after setting this uh, window size we want to close the browser so now let me just run this so now uh, it will okay now you can see now the window is closed so thank you guys if you have any question please let me know and for the further videos please subscribe to my channel uh, like the video and also share the videos